Hi. Uh, Jamaicans are blessed with, a, with an abundance of food supply that many Jamaicans actually don't even recognize as food. Uh, one such plant we want to discuss today is actually the Spanish needle. Uh, now, the Spanish needle, you might um, people identify it by uh, this yellow and white uh, petal flower. Um, we know it as something that the bees actually loves a whole lot. Um, very popular, common everywhere you go in Jamaica, you will actually see this plant. Now, uh, for many, it's food. Um, my introduction to the Spanish needle plant as a food was by uh, my Rastafarian uh, relatives. Um, who it's very popular among Rastafarians to eat um, uh, Spanish needle, which um, and and is not common in the general uh, populace of Jamaica to eat, but it's uh, it's common among Rastafarians to eat uh, Spanish needle. Now Spanish needle grows everywhere. It's very versatile. Uh, tastes just like um, Kalaloo um, or any 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 spinach. It's even richer than most of them. And this is actually what it looks like. You'll see bees following it all the time. Uh, it, it's like a, it's like a major food source for food. Um, now. What I do, I cultivate my Spanish needle. As you can see them here, uh, very big. They're very lush. They're bigger than usual, than than most. And uh, today I'm just going to show you um, how you can easily you can grow these. I enrich my soil around this mango tree root, um, so the Spanish needle comes up very very lush. But just for um, just for for demonstration purpose, I just want to. Um, I'm just gonna cut this one and uh, I just want to show you see how lush it is how big how powerful the, 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 the stalk is it's not usually this powerful it's because I enriched it um, so this is one of the very good food supply and I'm gonna show you how you can easily just um, just uh, cook it just like Kalaloo um, the stalk is not very uh, palatable so you would rip off the leaves but I'll show you that um, later now incidentally since I'm out in my garden um, I just want to show you something else but we're not going to discuss that today but show you something else that's actually very uh, good to eat steam just like Kalaloo if you notice you'll probably recognize this plant as a, as a, a merengue uh, tree you see this leaves you can you know recognize the moringa leaf you can pull these off these uh, leaves take them off and cut them up and uh, add your onions your peppers and your tomatoes and uh, make a nice little steam vegetable just like um, just like a callaloo all right but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this inside and um, to show you how we can actually prepare that so most Jamaicans no Jamaican by the way should ever complain about not having enough to eat because uh, this is so widely grown and uh, very popular while I'm out here I just want to show off my little plum on my miniature plum tree my June plum just gonna pick it and uh, take it with me inside so this is uh, wake up and live and uh, we'll continue in a moment uh, preparing the um, the uh, Spanish needle uh, for food. Okay, so we've taken the uh, Spanish needle inside and I'm just going to quickly give it a strip. Unlike the Kalaloo, which you have to actually strip. For Kalaloo, you strip the stalk. But for this one, the stalk, uh, I'm going to tell you that the stalk doesn't really, uh, it's not really palatable. So um, what you're going to do is just to break off the um the the, the leaves off them and I uh, if if possible you can leave the stalk on it's not an expensive um, vegetable or plant so you don't have to um try to utilize every single part of it because um uh, the stalk I have to be honest with you the stalk this part this part of it is um is a little coarse and it's not gonna be nice in your thing so just break all of the stuff off. Um, and I'm going to suggest, everybody might do it differently, but I'm going to suggest you cut your stuff up first before you, um, you, uh, all right, so that's, that's what's left of the stock and we're just going to trash this. All right, so, um, 
But an easy way to do it is just put it in a bundle. That's just me again. Everybody have their different uh, method of doing it. Um, and we're just cooking a little sample size, so you know. So you see this much. Uh, that's what we have here. I'm just gonna put this in here. Give it a quick toss in the water, so any little stuff on there will come off. Let me turn the stove on in the meantime. Okay, so I've already prepared the um, some tomatoes, as you can see, tomato on uh, tomato peppers, and um, oops, uh, let me get some onions. Uh, I have purple onion. Uh, okay, so we're good to go. Uh, let me just throw in a few um, pieces of uh, um, okra too. Uh, it doesn't call for that, but um, but of course, you know, just to make it a little nicer. Okay. Uh, put in my oil. A little oil. And then we're going to get it going. Give it a little test. Okay. Alright, so the reason I put the oil in there, I'm not really steaming it. I'm sauteing it. I uh, make it easier. And, um, much more crispy and uh, delightful to me rather than steaming it okay okay so I've tested let me I've tested a piece just to make sure it's okay um, all right, I'm, I'm putting in my uh, my um, peppers and stuff okay now the Spanish needle isn't hard to cook Be careful with the popping oil from the water that's on the thing that I just washed. Getting a little pinch of salt in there. garlic powder some black pepper and I'll just uh, keep sauteing it until it gets to a point where it's good for the purposes of the video I'm just gonna stop right here and keep doing it and then show you the finished product so there you have it, Spanish needle cooked with uh, boiled green bananas, uh, tomato garnish with tomatoes and carrots. Uh, this is a very easy to cook uh, meal. It's um, well not the entire meal, but the Spanish needle is uh, uh, very easy to cook. On the ten minutes, you're done between cutting up the vegetables and uh, and sautéing it down. Um, it is uh, less than ten minutes um, to cook. Just need to add some garlic powder, black pepper, sprinkle uh, some salt uh, to taste, and um, if you have the the boiled uh, provisions like yam or bananas or plantains um, ready to go, then you just serve it. Very easy. It's a very little, un very underutilized uh, vegetable um, in in most parts of the world. Um, so. Uh, no one having this around them anywhere in the tropics should actually be complaining about being hungry. It's very strong in iron, very rich in uh, different uh, magnesium, calcium. It's um, uh, rich in proteins and very good things. I don't even want to mention the medicinal part of it because people boil it for tea for different complaints and stuff like that. So, um, But I just wanted to show you real quickly that it's an underutilized food. And um, no one, no one in Jamaica should ever be complaining about uh, about um, dying of hunger for anything. Not that I've heard anyone do that, but no one should ever be doing that because this is one of the very underutilized food. 
And so stay tuned for, um, I'll show you more foods that uh, are readily available in the, in the wild, uh, in Jamaica and most of the tropics that uh, we, we should be utilizing more. I showed you the moringa just now out there. The moringa can be done, uh, can be used in the same way as this um, Spanish needle. We're accustomed to seeing bees using it for food to make honeys. That's one of the most popular thing for the bees um, anywhere in the tropics to make uh, honey. And um, just wanted to show you how well uh, we can utilize this and how underutilized it is actually. All right, thank you for watching. This is Wake Up and Live, and I'm Bob.